Good morning. In the coming lectures, uh, we are going to study wheat flour milling. And in this lecture, we are going to study the conditioning, wheat uh, milling conditioning. Before proceeding, let me differentiate between flour milling and grain milling. In flour milling, the grain is converted into powder. But in grain milling, the grain is uh, removed, inedible, inedible portion is removed, but the grain remains intact as it is. For example, rice. So, before uh, grinding, before size redu uh, re uh, reduction, what we must do, the cleaning. Uh, because if we uh, ignore this step, the product quality will be uh, uh, will be uh, will not be good, and uh, the impurities may damage the instruments. So we have different procedures for cleaning. Uh, for example, if we have to separate to two different sizes, we can use sieves. You know the wheat grain uh, what what uh, uh, what are the impurities which we expect uh, in with uh, in the wheat uh, uh, grains there may be the hay straw there may be the other grains having different sizes there may be some metallic impurities just like nut bolts uh, which may have fallen during the harvesting by using the mechanical harvest harvesters so we have different mechanisms by which we can separate those impurities as mentioned in this slide. In the uh, historical times, uh, wheat was uh, uh, grinded by using pounding. and But in pounding, the whole wheat was grounded uh, and there was no separation of bran and germ in it. These are some uh, historical developments, uh, inventions uh, related to wheat flour milling. Actually, the aim of flour, wheat flour milling is to remove, uh, remove the endosperm from the germ and the bran. So, first of all, we must understand why do we remove a germ? Because germ contains oil. And oil has less less shelf life. That is why we remove the uh, germ from the endosperm. And uh, why do we remove the bran? Because it is an edible portion, and uh, it decreases some technical uh, and some functional properties of the uh, flour for some uh, typical products, just like bread. If we produce the bread from the whole wheat flour, the quality of the bread will not be as good. So that's why we have to remove the uh, germ and bran from this portion. So, but technically, it is impossible to remove the all all uh, endosperm from the uh, germ and the bran. We lost some portion. Which is about 15% with these byproducts. And that last product is about 15%, which is all which is known as flower shots. So we have a, an important term extraction rate. What is it? Suppose if we have uh, 1 kg, 1 kg grains. And if you are converting this 1 kg grain into 70% powder, uh, which 70% uh, powder, I mean to say endosperm, and 30% uh, byproducts. So here the extraction rate, the extraction rate will be 70%. In another case, if we have 1 kg of uh, grain and you are converting this 1 kg of grain into 1 kg powder 
and you are not removing the byproducts here so the extraction rate here will be equivalent to 100 percent you can read this slide to make it more clear so before uh, going for the final milling of the wheat grain we are using a treatment which is known as conditioning what is this conditioning it is actually a hydrothermal treatment in which heat and water is used and in this treatment we increase the moisture content of the cranes which is actually 13 percent during storage 13 percent moisture is approximately used which is safe for shelf life so we have to increase this moisture content to this and this level if we have soft wheat we use 15 to 17 percent if we have hard wheat we increase the moisture content from 16 to 19 percent so and one thing uh, uh, is very important which we should know that we should not uh, increase the temperature above 47 degrees centigrade why because the wheat grain contains a very important protein that is gluten and this gluten is responsible uh, for the bread making it has uh, uh, functional properties which we will study in the coming lectures so if above 47 degrees centigrade heat is used the functionality of this gluten may lost and what happens uh, when we uh, are giving conditioning to the cranes it helps it helps uh, the separation of germ and brown from the endosperm how how it helps actually when we uh, uh, when we uh, add moisture to any substance it swells it imbibes water and it swells and uh, different uh, materials swell uh, uh, with different speeds so the the brown the outer layer of the brown and the inner layers of the endosperm they swell but they swell in different rates so the bonds between uh, the brown and uh, the endosperm they get stretched uh, and ultimately they become weak and it helps us to remove the brown and the endosperm in the milling and second thing which happens during the conditioning is the brown and the germ becomes rubber like and the endosperm becomes soft this is very important because when we crush this grain between the rolls eh, the the germ and the brown uh, will flatten it will not uh, broke down into powder rather it will uh, become flattened just like uh, the flakes this will make us easy to separate uh, the endosperm which uh, which breaks down into powder uh, from the germ we can easily separate the germ and brown from the endosperm because uh, the flakes have uh, big bigger size as compared to the uh, endosperm particles so there are four steps one two three four steps to carry out the conditioning and the first step is the preheating here we increase the heat and then the moistening most of the industries they combine this step by using the steam uh, in this way the heat and the moisture uh, is provided to the grain simultaneously and then we cool the grains in order to prevent the excessive heat abuse and then we temper it tempering means to give rest why do we have we, we have to uh, uh, provide a sufficient time to grains so that the moisture and heat will assimilate uh, will dissipate uh, throughout the whole mass so for grains it is uh, about 18 to 72 hours it takes 18 to 72 hours to dissipate the moisture homogeneously throughout the mass 
so these are the four important steps uh, to carry out the tempering now we are ready for the further uh, milling of the grain which will be uh, uh, studied uh, in the coming lectures hope you understood this uh, thank you for watching if you have any curry please uh, ask me